a shock vote at Air France KLM has led its chief executive, Jean-Marc Janayac, to step down. He made a gamble that a direct vote with workers about pay rises, bypassing unions, would resolve a long-standing conflict. But his bet didn't pay off and he was forced to resign, delivering a stark warning for the future of the company. 13 days of strikes and more than two months of conflict have weakened Air France, compromising its performance and its future. This is an enormous waste which can only delight our competitors, weaken our partnerships and unsettle our workers. The company had offered a 7% pay rise over four years. Unions demanded a 5.1% rise this year and say the strikes will continue. The carrier has announced that it suffered a quarterly operating loss almost four times bigger than in the same period last year. According to the latest earnings report, in 2017 the French-Dutch company had an operating loss of 33 million euros in the first quarter. But for the first quarter of 2018, that number has plummeted to 118 million, of which 75 million is related to the strikes. The KLM unit made a profit during the same period. The company also says that the strikes will shave around 300 million euros off its full year profit. Workers are hitting the company where it hurts. May is typically one of the busiest and most lucrative periods for airlines.